you guys are looking to buy FIFA coins with fast delivery and cheap prices or open up FIFA packs on a brand new website for real coin totals, check out FIFACoinZone.com and use the code HABER to get yourself 5% off. How is it going lads? Welcome back to a brand new video. In today's video, what I've got for you is of course rewards. We have div rivals, we've got but champions, we've got the whole shebang for you today. I'm very excited to open them. If you do go on to enjoy this video, smash the like down below. And of course, if you aren't subscribed to the channel already, please do so. We are like on the, I guess, final stretch, not quite the final stretch, but like we're on the back end now towards 100K. We're, we're less than 25,000 away, which I know is a huge number, but you know, that that's where the sort of the excitement starts is when you're about 25K away. It's like, woo. We're getting close. So it's just turned 8 a.m. on Thursday morning, which means we have but champions and division rivals. Now, I finished personally uh, in division two. I finished in rank two, which I'm not happy with. I would have preferred rank three because I actually prefer the rewards in rank three. In rank two, I get two jumbo premium gold packs and six mega packs. Whereas in rank three, I actually get two rare electrums and two 50k packs, which I think is personally better. Um, but it each to it, each to their own, I guess. You know, it, it's whoever uh, prefers what pack. But we did finish in gold one, 22 and eight, I think, uh, this week in weekend league. Um, my mojo just hasn't been there to be honest in champs. But you know what? I'm happy with gold one. I think gold one is way above average. So, oh, I do want to quickly apologise as well for um, the lighting on the face cam in this video. Basically. Uh, my window is right there and um, we haven't fitted the blinds that we've got yet for my window. I don't know why we haven't. We just haven't. We haven't got around to it yet. Um, so <laughs> basically, I've just balanced like a bunch of stuff up to try and block this sun, but it's not quite worked. So yeah, now I kind of look stupid with loads of like boxes and stuff there trying to block the sun, but it is what it is. Anyway, let's open up our foot champions rewards. In terms of the team of the week, the players that I would like, uh, the obvious ones, I'd love a Virgil van Dijk because I'd sell my team of the year one. Um, I'd love a Lewandowski because I would use that card. Uh, I would love a Romelu Lukaku. I would use that card. I would use a Fekir. Uh, McTyne would be all right as well. So would Sigurdsson. The rest, uh, the high rate ones would be good, but apart from that, you know, we're not really looking for them to use them. However, we'll jump straight into it. We've got two player picks now. Come on, first one, be good, please. 8061 is not bad. That's pretty decent, you know. And the thing is, he actually has a decent card if he didn't have 73 pace. Apart from 73 pace, everything else is really good about his card, which is pretty legit. But it's 86 rated cannon fodder at the minute for SBCs. Um, but you know what? It's not too bad, to be fair. That's pretty decent. I didn't mean to do that. Uh, second player pick now. Here we go. I just realized I'm on my streaming scene as well. I do apologize. There we go. We're on the right scene for recording now. Second player pick. Come on, EA, please. Hit us with something big. Okay, a Ranguiz. The thing is, this card doesn't look too bad. Um, not the worst in-game stats. However, I would have preferred one of the big dogs, but it is what it is. You know, we can't expect any of the high rated ones. 86 and 84 is pretty decent from goal one. Um, we'll go and store that in the club and open up our... How many packs do we have now? We have 10 packs to open, I think. Jeez. Okay, so we've got two Jumbo Premium Gold Packs for rival rewards, which I don't like 15k packs very much on this game. I mean, I say that and we might get something decent, which, you know, I'm not complaining if we do. I'm just not a big fan of these kind of packs. They're just not personally my favorite. Um, but you know what? We might get something decent, I guess. Uh, for me, they feel like the most unlucky of all packs in the game. They, they really do feel like the most unlucky. Um, but maybe someone out there is packed like a... Prime, uh, Optimus Prime Pele in them or something. I don't know. Uh, which I do want to actually ask you a quick question as well if you guys are still watching. Hopefully you are still watching. That was a really stupid thing to say. Um, but if you guys have made it to this part of the video, as we get the Man United badge for a Man United related question, do you think it was a penalty last night or not? Kimpembe, handball, do you think it was a penalty or not? As a Man United fan, I think that he tried to put his body in the way of a shot and his arm, unfortunately, was, a, was slightly stuck out. And that counted his body. So I do think it was the right decision from VAR. Uh, but let me know what you think down below in the comments. Regardless, I'm happy that we, we won the game. I think it was a fantastic comeback by Manchester United. Uh, and I'm, I'm honestly over the moon by it. I think it was it was great to watch. Um, and I'm glad that Ole Gunnar Solskjaer managed to do it for us. I think it's fantastic. So give the man the job. Uh, but I'd love to hear your opinions in the comment section down below. Keep it. Let's keep it respectful. As we get a walkout, go on. What's this going to be? We've got a walkout. Argentinian striker. He's not another than Aguero. What a walkout. Oh, my word. Okay. 
All right, Aguero. As I was complaining about rivals and 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 finishing rank two, we get Sergio Aguero. That's a hundred thousand coins worth of a card. That is actually phenomenal. Oh my word. Yo, I'll take that. I will happily take that. Let's go. And Saul in the same pack. What a pack. That is actually phenomenal. An 89 and an 85 in the same pack. That is fantastic. Okay, that has changed my mood completely. Let's go. All right. So that's, like, that's that's very good from Rival Rewards, that is. That is, even if I don't use that card, that's an 89 rated card that's potential for SBCs. That is pretty fantastic in my opinion. Um, but like I was saying, just keep it respectful in the comments. Let's just keep it, let's not be toxic to each other. Uh, if your opinion differs from somebody else's, you don't need to, you know, call them a rude name or anything like that. And I do apologize. I know the lighting is pretty bad right now. Um, I do apologize for that. I wish I could do something about it, but I really can't. I need to get the blinds fitted ASAP. Uh, usually my videos are recorded at around 6 when it's pretty dark outside, so we don't have this problem. Going in towards the spring and the summer is probably something I should work on though. Definitely. Right, anyway, we've got two more 35k packs after this. I think that's been one of my better pulls out of rival rewards in a long time. And I'm happy about that. We get a 75 to 80 rated player pick as well. What's this going to be? Absolutely nothing. I'm just going to... I think this is tradable. So I'm just going to take... I'm just going to take Ox. All right, we'll just take the Ox Lady Chamberlain there. Uh, one and a half thousand coins there as well. Not too bad. I would, I would go through and like, you know, sieve through the players that are tradable and tradable there. But... Can't really be bothered, to be honest, but we've got two more Mega Packs left for my Rivals and, and, and then we've got my Champs Rewards. Uh, no walkout in that Mega Pack, but we do get bored. What's this going to be? Anything decent? It's going to be a Spanish goalkeeper. It's going to be Kepa. 84 rated, not too bad. I think I have him in the club already, so I might have to switch around this one with the other one. But actually, no, I might have used him, actually. I did use him. Nice. Oh, and we got upgraded Rashford as well. Speaking of Man United last night, we'll take it. The, the, the ice man himself, the man that... Obviously not not Lindelof. Lindelof is the Iceman as well. But he's the man that, that took the penalty. I think that took a lot of composure and a lot of guts. So I respect that. Last 35k pack and the last pack from Rival Rewards. It's not going to be a walkout. But could we get bored? It's not going to be bored either, sadly. But you know what? I think it's been pretty decent. I think that we can call Aguero, Saul, and you know a couple 83s and 84s. I think that is pretty successful if you ask me in terms of Rival Rewards. Uh, but I do want to finish rank 3 next time, even though I did just get Aguero. I, I do prefer rank 3. I think the, the silvers and stuff like that are pretty decent as well. So, we've got two 100k packs for finishing gold 1 in foot champions. Let's see if we can get anything good from either one of these 100k packs. Here we go. First one. Not going to be a walkout. You know, a lot of people will get angry at me if I uh, sit here and complain about it. But I think that... You know, the, these packs right here and, 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 and rivals should be pretty separated. I know I just packed Aguero, but in reality, this is for playing 30 games on the weekend. And that was for, for playing games uh, in, in, in the week during, uh, during the week for rivals. So I think that like... I should really be looking for at least a higher than 83 in a 100k pack. I always get nervous when I complain about pack look because people get mad at me for it, but... I don't know why people get mad at me for it, because I still think from 100k pack, you should be getting something decent. And we get a walkout, there you go. Can it be redeemed from our last pack? Can we redeem ourselves? It's going to be Argentinian. Are we about to get double Agueros? It's another Aguero! Redeemed. Okay, redeemed. We have just packed the same 100,000 coin plus walkouts, about six packs apart. That is incredible. That is absolutely incredible. I don't, I'm not expecting anything else in this pack, but we'll see if there is anything else in this pack anyway. That is phenomenal. We get 84 Schmeichel in the same pack. That is absolutely incredible. I am over the moon by that. Honestly, that is great. That right there is great. Fair enough, EA. As I'm complaining, you show me that I'm an idiot. So I appreciate that. Thank you very much for the double Agueros. Let's go ahead and open up Sam's Rewards. I thought we'd open Simon's Rewards first because we'll save the best for last. I think Sam's Rewards are a lot better than Simon's because Simon finished in rank four in division one, which gives him two premium gold players packs, which actually last week he got walkout from. And I think he only finished in like gold three this week. Silver one even. Simon, you've got to start playing foot jumps, my friend. Come on, dude. He likes me opening the rewards anyway, so I thought we'd open them for him anyway because... You know, I already have his stuff, like, ready to go. So, his one player pick for finishing in Silver 3 is going to be none other than Robin Van Persie. I think that's pretty cool, to be honest. I do like Van Persie a lot. I can't believe what they've done to his card, though. How can you give the man that scored the famous header in the World Cup 47 jumping? I know that his jump was kind of, like, not very far off the ground, and it was more like a, like a dive forward, but 
the, the disrespect to you. Anyway, we've got two Jumbo Premium Gold play, uh, Players Packs. No, we've got two we've got two Premium Gold Players Packs, which could open now for rivals. A Jumbo Premium Gold Players Pack, and then a Mega Pack, I think. So first uh, Premium Gold Player. I'm getting confused. I'll be honest with you, I'm getting really confused here. But the first Premium Gold Players Pack is going to be Guedes. I honestly thought that was Nanny, to be honest. <laughs> I really did. But no, it's going to be Guedes. That's the first one. I guess we'll take it. It's, it, it's an 82. Uh, didn't really need to tell you guys that, but it is an 82. Uh, so we'll go ahead and uh, discard those and store those. Next, Premium Gold Players Pack. This is for finishing, of course, Rank 4 in Rivals. Because um, he played like 11 games. <sighs> Simon, Simon, Simon. Simon used to get Elite 1. Now he gets Silver 1, alright? And it has nothing to do with the fact he played 11 games. It's just because he's a bad player now. <laughs> he's going to kill me when he sees this video. Uh, we've got Mega Pack here for Champs. It's going to be a board. What's it going to be? Anything decent. I don't know if there is any expensive boards now. I mean, that's not a bad board, to be fair. An 84 rated right back's decent. But what is the best board that isn't a walkout to get now? Used to be, obviously, Van Dijk. I guess maybe Fabinho. Um, yeah, probably Fabinho. I can't think of anyone else, to be honest. Uh, but anyway, last pack on Simon's account. Then we'll go over to Sam's to open up his. And uh, and, and and we'll see if we can get Sam something good. I mean, <laughs> we're not going to get a, a board drop in the last pack. All right, so let's go ahead and open up Sam's Elite Rewards now. Saving the best till last, obviously, because if Silver One was the best, then this wouldn't be a very good video. <laughs> All right, let's do it. By the way, that's the gaming tag on screen. Uh, Sam said that he, uh, if you want to quickly go back and pause it to see the gaming tag, he said that he's uh, he started streaming recently. So if you want to check him out, then uh, then just, I think it's just the gamer tag into Twitch. I want to say. Uh, he didn't really provide me with much information regarding it, but we have his foot champions and division rival rewards So let's claim the rivals first. Uh, he said go with the untradeables. So uh, we'll go with this We get four mega packs two rare mixed players packs and two rare mega packs. This is rank one in division two um, Which I was gonna grind for but I didn't think it was necessary and obviously now we've been rewarded with an Aguero I can't really complain and then in foot champs. He said that he finished uh, elite three uh, could have got Elite 2 as well, apart from he unfortunately lost uh, a game here or there that he probably shouldn't have lost. But 70,000 coins, 100k back in a premium team of the week pack. And arguably, I'd say Elite 2 is probably not worth the extra, you know, hassle to get two more wins at max elo. Uh, because realistically, all you get is like 50k or 30k or something like that. So... It's not really that worth it in my opinion, but we've got three player picks now. Let's see if we can get himself one of the big ones. Now, he sent me a list of the players he'd like to get as we get ourselves a Mkhitaryan, Sigurdsson or Stuani pick. Now, let me see what Sam said. Sam said his list goes in order of Lewandowski, Donnarumma, Lukaku, Fakir, Quagliarella, Virgil van Dijk, PK, then Sigurdsson. So, we'll go with Sigurdsson. Uh, there we go. We'll go with Sigurdsson there. Um, here we go. Okay, so next one. Let's see if we can get something good from this one. Come on. Give us one of the good ones. Please, EA. It's going to be another Sigurdsson and then Stuani. So I think we go with Stuani here for the rating. Um, we'll go ahead and grab that one. All right, we've got one more. Let's have let's have one of the big ones here. 286 is not bad, though, to be fair. 286 is a pretty decent. As we get a feck here, in my opinion, is a fantastic one to get. That is a fantastic red pool. That is actually that. So this this video has already been pretty successful in my opinion. We've had a fantastic red pool and we've had two fantastic walkouts in in, in the form of Aguero. So I think it's been pretty decent so far. That card looks really really good. I'm I'm jealous. That card looks really really good. Uh, we'll go ahead and store those. Two eighty sixes and one eighty seven is fantastic. I know I keep saying fantastic, but it really is really good. So let's go ahead and open up all the packs now. We've got. God knows how many random packs to open up here. So we've got two rare mixed players pack. I don't expect anything from these. I've never opened a rare mixed players pack on FIFA 19 before. So let's open it. <laughs> I don't know. We've got Bakayoko in the first one. I don't know what to expect from these packs. This is the first time me experiencing them. And it really is mixed players. Wow. Okay. So, uh... I mean, I guess there's an MLS player in there could be useful. A French League gun player in there could be useful. Um, you know, an Argentinian League in there could be useful. Apart from that, don't really see the point in a rare mixed players pack. But we've got another one of them to open. Maybe this one's going to give some a good. Maybe a board. Okay, it's a board, actually. I'm surprised. The majority of these players are bronzes. It's going to be Italian centre-back Kirby. Ugh, not really a board, though. I mean, he's a board. 
but he's probably the cheapest board. Anyway, you know what? I'm not going to complain. Let's not complain about this. Let's, let's store it in the club. It's a board at least. I think we just had that player twice in a row. Um, I should probably be so cynical about those kind of packs. So we've got, I think, four mega packs now. Of course, we got my best rival's reward out of a mega pack. So... You never know. And the first one is actually going to be a board drop. So what's it going to be? It's going to be German. It's going to be a striker. It's going to be Timo Werner. That is not bad at all. 84, excuse me, 84 rated. I apologize. 84 rated is not bad at all. That is actually pretty decent. We'll go ahead and take that. Uh, let's see if there's anything else decent in the pack. Anything else, EA? Sadly not. And when I say anything else, a lot of people get the miscommunication. Mis uh, I'm not saying because I'm disappointed with what we've got. I'm just looking if there's anything else, really. I just really want to see if there's anything else in the pack. Um, but you know what? Werner's not a bad start. Come on, let's see that walkout symbol, eh? Please. There we go. Asking you shall receive us an inform. Come on, be someone good. Be someone big. French. Cam is spec here, isn't it? Wow. Wow, wow, wow. Um, okay. What do we think about this, really? That's an untradeable Fekir. I mean, Fekir's card holds a value of about 100,000 coins on PlayStation. But that's an 87 rate Inform card that classes an Inform for SPCs. So he's got a red version and an Inform version. That's actually pretty decent. That's actually pretty sick. So I, I, I wouldn't complain about that. I think that's pretty dope. I know it's the one he just got. But then he gets to use the red version and submit the inform version to make an SBC a lot cheaper. Maybe an icon SBC. So that's not too bad. Third mega pack now. No walkout for this one. It's going to be a board though. What's it going to be? What are we going to get today? It's going to be an English board. It's going to be a cam. Is that... Ooh, Deli Alley's not bad. 84 rated. Again, not a bad pull. 84 rated. We'll take that. Uh, I'm, I'm still pretty excited for him on that, that second Fekir pull. Uh, I know a lot of people will probably complain about that. But I don't think it's too bad to be fair. I think it's pretty decent. I think it's not too bad at all. So uh, we'll go ahead and store those two and we'll, uh, we'll discard the rest. Okay, we've got one more mega pack and then we've got two rare mega packs. So, come on here. Give us another walkout, please. Damn, didn't work second time. You know, first time, first time work, second time, not so, not, not, not so lucky. So I guess, yeah, you're basically saying, <clears throat> don't ask twice. <laughs> don't bite the hand that feeds you. All right, White Adam's not too bad there. Um, let's quickly swap over these plays. I don't think any of them are tradable though. Uh, I'm pretty sure Sam does a lot of untradeable SBCs, so uh, go ahead and discard those. We've got two rare Mega Packs now, followed by a Jumbo Rare Players Pack, followed by a Premium Team of the Week Pack. First rare Mega Pack, not going to be a walkout. It's going to be a board, though. Can it be something decent? What could it be? French, centre mid. It's going to be another Taliso. That's a yikes. I mean, he's only 83 rated, though. I think he's about 1.3k. I just realized, by the way, I think the best of the best Team of the Week still out. So when I saw that inform and it was French, that could have been Mbappe. It really, it could have actually been Mbappe, or it could have been, uh, could have been somebody else. It could have, it could have not been Fekir. But the first thing that jumped to my mind was Fekir. So, you know, that's that's bad on my part. I should have got myself more excited than more disappointed when it wasn't Mbappe. Silly me. Apology. <laughs> I don't know what I'm waffling on about here. I'm, I'm not gonna lie to you. We've got another board though. <laughs> Rescue me with someone decent to talk about. It's gonna be Nacho Fernandez, 83 rated. Again, pretty underwhelming board, but. Is what it is to be honest. At least it's an 83 rated. Uh, we'll just, I guess, store it if we haven't got it already. He has already got it. So, uh, quickly try and swap that. Yep, there we go. Send that up to the transfer list. Is Brozovic tradable? He is not. We'll go ahead and discard the rest. Now I've got 100k pack for the Elite 3 champs finish. What's this going to be, EA? Come on. Give us a walkout. That's a bit harsh. That's a bit harsh. The only 100k pack he's got and it's not a walkout. It's going to be Vidal, though. I actually don't know how much Vidal goes for in this game anymore. Is he still about 10,000 coins? Oh, he's about 8k. Well, when, S when a good SPC gets released or an 85 rated SPC gets released, he will go up in value to like 10, 11,000 coins. So that's not too bad. Uh, we'll go ahead and discard the rest there. And then we've got a premium team of the week pack. Come on, EA. Hit us with. I don't know who's most expensive. I think Van Dijk and Lewandowski are the two most expensive. Maybe Lukaku as well. Lewandowski 620k, Van Dijk's 580, and Lukaku's 448. So come on, EA, give us one of those three, please. Show us the walkout symbol, please, EA. Yes, come on. Come on, EA. One of the big boys, please. Okay, Quaglarella is high rated. There's not going to be any of the big ones, but there could still be a Fekir, a Mkhitaryan, or a Sigurdsson in there that might hold a decent value. 
we've got to hope for the best here. Show us any of the 86s or 85s, please. Come on, EA. That's not bad, though. 88, 88 is decent. Okay, Arangis is not bad, and Zuba. It's not too shabby. In terms of value, that pack holds a value of roughly, let's have a look. Quagalo is 75k, 23 for Aranguiz and 13. So maybe roughly 110,000 coins. It's not too bad. Add on the, I don't know, maybe 30k we got from the 100k pack. That's like 140k. 210k made roughly from Elite 3 rewards. It's not too bad. As well as the double Fekir pools. I think this has been a pretty successful video. I think we've had an insane red player, an insane inform, and a couple of insane walkouts, in my opinion. Uh, and that's just obviously my opinion. If you don't, guys did enjoy, leave a like down below. Subscribe to the channel if you guys are new around here. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you lads later.